Hello, one am Seek Science 7. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation, your Geotech EXL5 headset to your PlayStation 3 if you don't have an AV cable, which I find is the better way. But there's another way if you didn't have that AV cable which came with it and you might have lost it or something. So let's get started. So the things you need first, a TV with the power supply already connected, because that's quite fiddly for me to set up for you. Next thing is the PlayStation, you need it, and you need the power supply and a HDMI cable by other means, because that, that does not come with the Geotech headset. Um, and then you obviously need the headset with the headset connector already connected, and you need the controller. And at the other end, the controller is USB and there's RC audio. You need all three of these as they are all required for this to work. So now we can officially get started. First thing we're going to do is connect the power supply into our PlayStation. So we just find the slot on the right of the PlayStation. Push that in as much as you can. And then you plug the plug into an available socket on your wall. Now the next thing we're going to do, and the last thing that involves the back of the PlayStation, is connect the HDMI cable. So we find the slot on the very left next to the Ethernet. Push the HDMI in. And then the other end, we put in an available slot in our TV. So this is what our setup looks like so far with the PlayStation and the power supply going to a socket in the wall and the HDMI going to an available port in our TV. So the next thing we're going to do, with, which involves a headset, is to connect the headset connector of your headset into your inline controller. So matching up the long, the long gold bit with the I think called jacks the long jack with the big hole and then a the small jack with the smaller hole. And with the geotech you need the unmute to mute button to set to unmute, so that's the one without a line, so we can test the audio works when it connected it fully. And the uh, Xbox PlayStation 3 we need that to put to PlayStation 3. So the next step is to connect the RCA audios of the headset into an audio out of your TV. Now, a lot of TVs have an audio in, but only few TVs have audio out, and I'm lucky to have audio out. So this only works if you have an audio out TV. So what you need to get the this side here, so the point like the side, the jack side as I call it, you need to put that into the red side, and then the same with the white. The very last one that involves labour is to connect USB into your PlayStation. So now we can turn on our PlayStation 3. Now you need to go to the correct source on your TV, so HDMI. And now on your PlayStation, you need to go to uh, settings, scroll down to display settings. Uh, click OK. Video output settings at the top, click OK. Select HDMI, which is the top one. Click OK. Automatic. Let that just set itself to the best quality you can have, which mine is 1080p. Click Yes. X. X again, so the top one again. So it says set audio output settings. And we need to set that as audio input connector slash scart slash AV multi, so the bottom one. Click OK. Click enter and that's your headset connected. To get your voice on your headset completely connected, you need to go to settings and find accessory settings, which is above display. No, above printers, above accessory. Click that, scroll down to the fifth option, I believe, one, two, three, four, five. no, seventh option, which is audio device settings. And you should have that set to Geotech EXO5 headset, and that should also change to the bottom one. So now it should be connected. So if I talk in my headset, yeah, you can see the light going up, which means the headset is properly connected. Here is a, a diagram that summarizes this whole thing, which will be available for you to download and was 100% created by me. So if you want to credit anyone for it, then the credit should go to me because I made it. Thanks for watching another tutorial by me. If you liked it, please like the video. If you've got any more questions, put those in the comment section below. And please subscribe because that really helps me. So yeah, thanks for watching.